Hello everyone, welcome to the uh, web mapping video tutorials by Asubdahal. First, uh, we are going to use leaflets, then we are going to use ArcGIS API, and then after we are going to introduce the server technologies and learn about the web server and the web mapping technology using the Arc server. So let's today let's start with uh, leaflet API, leaflet JavaScript API. First, uh, the leaflet uh, let uh, the leaflet API is a <clears throat> very beautiful kind of API to uh, make web maps. Here uh, you can go to the leafletgs.com. The site is there, and you can see over here in the downloads. You can either use a stable version leaflet. Uh, and download it and use in your local host uh, or you can use the link to the CDN and they have uh, al already put um, put the uh, all uh, CSS files and all the configurations in the, the on their server so you can download just use the link from there if you use locally hosted um, <coughs> map then you can um, work offline also but if you uh, use this uh, link then you can use only online version here uh, you can read about it using a hosted version of leaflet or you can download it so i'm going to use the hosted version now let's start with the uh, tutorials first quick uh, leaflet quick start guide uh, here is the example we are going to make this kind of map today so you need to have a notepad plus plus standard notepad plus plus so i'm going to show you how to write the code First, uh, you need to have some basic idea about the HTML. Uh, right, doc type HTML in the first, and then HTML, then close it. In HTML language, uh, every um, code start with uh, this kind of things here, like HTML, HTML, then it close uh, with slash HTML, and this like. Now let, let's start here in the example you can see first we need to connect our uh, map to the uh, to their server cdn server so here is the link uh, real uh, href and this this is going to link this file to the css leaflet css file in the head section so let's copy and paste it paste it inside the HTML. okay here yeah. You can, uh, if you want to add the title, then you can add the title like this. Title, then, okay, let me do it. Title, quickly start leaflet. I'll go, I'm going to change the title to our first web map. Map project. Okay. Then click enter. Then here is the meta character set, metadata about the character and metadata about the uh, viewport. So let's copy it. You can just type this, but I'm going to copy because it, it will be very slow if I type. So add the meta file here and then the link, link to the CSS uh, site is uh, given here. Cross sign. Here is the link. You can check the link then add the javascript file here, here is the javascript file you can see over here here is the javascript file now copy it and paste it okay paste it over here give some indentation okay now we have done until this if you want to see what is in the uh, javascript file you just uh, click on this link and go to the site and you can see this okay now our head uh, head portion is finished here the he head portion sorry i didn't read at head see head here our head is completed need to write like this 
head file is complete, completed now we are going to write some body this is just the heading file uh, it will give the information about uh, where it will be linked how to display how which uh, javascript file need to be used so now we are going to write the body okay. here uh, let's check the leaflet site and put a div element in certain id where uh, you want to map to be um, means where you want to put the map you just uh, write this and make sure the map container has a definite height we need to give the height map id height uh, like this so first uh, let's copy paste this i have um, i'll provide you the original file after now here is the div file let's copy and paste it you can write yourself but i'm going to copy paste because it will be very fast now here is the uh, map id file and this is the division and it uh, made a map id now we are going to write some java scripts the script file the script mean that um, the original code which will be run uh, which will be running while uh, we just uh, click on the map we just open the map then the, the original javascript file will run and that will show our map so let's uh, add some scripts to add a script we need to write like this script script sorry now inside the script uh, here is the map id set view okay uh, inside the script let's write the uh, here map give the uh, make a variable map my map or your map any map that will use this id map id and make a map so let's copy it it will uh, create a local variable like in other programming language if you uh, create a local variable then this will be used to um, any, uh, used to process any data so here uh, here also we are going to make a variable local variable my map and this will be used to um, make the map or display the map now after the my map uh, i have copied all the codes over here let's add a tile layer the tile layer is um, i'll let me sh explain you the tile layer is a layer which contains the different tiles of the data and or the map on the original map is not hosted vector as a vector data but it is um, hosted as a raster data and at different zoom layers they have the different uh, different kind of resolution so the tile layer are those kind of layer which are compiled to um, uh, compiled in rectangular box and crossed um, uh, and cut it so that uh, in every zoom level you can have the same resolution or the same detail or the, or the detail will be increasing the different layer, level of tiles so we are going to add the tile layer from uh, uh, map box here is the tile layer uh, source to uh, to add this you just uh, don't be confused you can write l dot uh, tile layer here l and dot map uh, and l dot tile layer then give this api tiles map box access token so that we can access the tile layer from this side then give the maximum zoom level as max zoom then give attribution if you want the attribute of the map then you can give the attribution map and data copy this is the um, default link for this open street map will give the attribute of the map so you don't need to worry about it just copy paste it and give the id uh, id map box streets it will load the map box street map if you want uh, the map box dark gray map then give the id map box dot dark gray and then um, the tile layer is created then after here on uh, this code dot add to my map uh, add to my map will show will add this uh, tile layer to the my map that my map variable we have already created over here so after that let's go uh, to this um, point we are going to now add some pop-ups pop-ups are uh, okay marker marker uh, we need to understand about the concept about the marker marker are the uh, point or the any uh, figure that will show uh, above the map and have some details about it so those are the actual data we are, which we are going to add in the map the, on the map below or the map tile layer we have added this uh, can't be edited or we can add the custom data in this but if you use the marker we can add our custom data if we have a geojson file or another shape files then we can use uh, 
and uh, them as a tile layer also i'll show it later but now for the basic concept i am going to use the marker so use l dot marker and add to my map and uh, if you want the pop-up then bind the pop-up with the name so let's add this and i'll show you okay l dot marker uh, here is the position or the coordinates of the marker here is uh, 51.5 and minus 0 0.09 and then add to my map it will add uh, add this marker to the my map and um, ju just insert dot bind pop-up that this will bind your pop-up and just uh, click and uh, like here is hello world then i'll say welcome to then uh, this uh, slash b will change the um, um, it will work like a uh, inter and then right uh, welcome to one map one mapping then just uh, add dot open pop-up this will uh, open the pop-up if you click on the map so next in same way add circle and a polygon okay here in the um, uh, the marker of the uh, okay here in the uh, here uh, i think where did it go okay here uh, in the um, circle you can see that uh, we need uh, two variable center of this and the radius and then color you can define the color fill color uh, fill opacity and um, you can add it to the map you can add just circle uh, instead of this pop-up you can add like um, here is is a circle Um, this is the circle l dot circle if you add l you need to add l l means leaflet you you are using leaflet js file then l dot marker means the marker from the leaflet side or the library of a leaflet then l dot circle means the library then you can also use color in this section also in the marker also you can use the color fill color fill opacity everything now we are going to use a add a polygon for, for uh, adding a polygon you need to give the three coordinates uh, for a rectangle you are going, going to give three coordinates first first corner second corner and third corner and then it will automatically join to the la first one so if you give a four then it will be a pentagon so add this to the map now uh, create a pop-up variable pop-up give the elder pop-up name we need to uh, create a variable named pop-up so we can use the pop-up to make pop-up when we click on the map and here in the function okay i'll copy this i'll be okay okay here we have made a function over here here in the function on map click this way this is the function which will respond to the click on the map so if you click on the map on map click e is the variable just variable so pop-up and uh, okay. then uh, uh, the pop-up will set latitude longitude e dot lat long then uh, set the content you click on the map at plus uh, e dot lat long to the string then it will open to the map open on the ma my map so it will open the pop-up uh, which is in the data or marker in the map so here is just a simple code function map and click pop-up set lat long e lat long then uh, just put it then my map on that click on map uh, on map click if you cl click on the map then it will show the pop-up so script is completed now close the body to that body save it i have set it in a desktop let's check it here is the map welcome to a mapping if you click here here is a circle here is welcome to web mapping there are two pop-ups okay oh sorry we want uh, rectangle also triangle also I, I have given the triangle before i'm a polygon okay that's it if you want to change the size of this box this box you can change it from here uh, here on the map we have uh, created a map set view here and 
we have uh, given the map id with width 600 and height 400 now i am going to change it to 900 okay 1150 pixel and uh, 900 pixel okay, just save it you can run it in uh, firefox from here also okay it is the map you can zoom out it okay that's it for first day okay i'll see you soon thank you thank you